Now at 6, snow is here. And NBC Charlotte is everywhere with live team coverage on this winter storm and how it's affecting the Carolinas. Live in Monroe. Live in York County. Live in Rockingham. This is NBC Charlotte News at 6. We're looking out for you. While a winter storm prompts states of emergency in the Carolinas, we have complete coverage. We're taking a live look right now at Boone. This is along King Street there. The snow started in the mountains a little bit earlier today, but there's plenty of it you can still see on the ground. In Watauga County, you're looking live there again at King Street. We do want to thank you so much for joining us. I'm Sonia Gaines. And I'm Dave Wagner. We're going to get right over to uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich, who's keeping an eye on things for us this evening. Brad, everybody around here is getting this <laughs> snow. Just a question of when and how much. Yeah, most everybody's seen at least some snow right now, and the accumulations are varied. We've seen as, as little as a trace in some locations, but now just got a report of three inches up in Morganton, half inch in, down in Rock Hill. So everybody's seeing the snow. It's just varying in the amounts. Here's the latest advisories and warnings. Winter storm warning for all the counties shaded in pink. That includes all our South Carolina counties and areas along uh, Highway 74 heading out towards the Sand Hills. Then the rest of the area in purple, that's a winter weather advisory. The difference between the two is just in the amount of snow we're expecting. You need to get three inches or more for a winter storm warning criteria. Most areas are going to be below that. You can see the back edge of the snow beginning to show up a little bit here uh, in the foothills, but still some heavy snow bands moving across Metro Charlotte. We've got a couple pockets of very heavy snow, especially in the north end of town right now. And you can see the interstates. That's I-77 at LaSalle packed with cars and the roads are becoming slick. Now, this main band is going to stick with us here for the next couple of hours, and really this will be the main band for the evening. Once this moves through, things will actually slowly taper off to just flurries during the overnight hours. You can see the main band, though, extends across most of the Piedmont, including all of Mecklenburg County. To the east, we're getting a little bit of mix, and the one thing I'm going to be watching here as we go through the evening is to see if this low on the coast begins to crank up a little bit. We get some moisture kind of feeding back towards the north and west, and that's certainly a possibility as we loop this a couple of times. The heavier moisture may try to get back towards the sand hills. Here's all the snowfall reports we've had so far. You can see as they've been slowly progressing across the area throughout the afternoon and increasing in intensity. Quick look at our future cast. Six o'clock, snow's on us right now. Seven o'clock, it's still over us. By eight to nine, it slowly begins to move out. But notice even as we get towards the late evening hours, there's still some scattered flurries on the backside, but the main band will begin to shift to the east. The other big concern, are the temperatures. Temperatures are only going to be in the teens and single digits, so once the snow falls, it's sticking to the road surface rather quickly. Coming up, we'll take a look at when the snow moves out tomorrow morning and just how cold it could be over the next two days. Dave? All right, and some breaking news as we track this winter storm here, Brad. Uh, CMPD just released that there have been 50 accidents so far in the past hour alone. You're looking live right now. This is I-85 north of University City Boulevard. You see the uh, flashing lights out there, and as that brine gets washed off the roads, it's going to cause more problems this evening. If you have kids in school, you know that many school districts dismiss classes early today, including Charlotte Mecklenburg. CMS officials could make a decision this evening or as late as 5 a.m. about whether to close or delay school tomorrow. Right now, a complete list of delays and closings is scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Tonight, North Carolina has declared a state of emergency. Governor Pat McCrory signed a declaration today freeing up money and manpower. He also explained why the state doesn't keep a lot of storm equipment on hand. Often, the people who have migrated and were pleased.